How y'all doing? What's up, YouTube, Facebook, whoever's watching? Bread Tuck Gang TV, Bread Tuck Nation. I'm Bread Tuck Rob, Christopher Robinson, and I'm sitting here with Ryan Thompson. Say hello to the people, Ryan. Hello. All right, we on the 12,000 block of West Timer. We had a uh, Naked Skin Care. Let me make sure I'm getting the... I'm getting the title right, right? Naked skin care, waxing. And Tell waxing. us where we're at. Naked skin care and <laughs> waxing. Yes. And I'm sitting here at the I'm sitting here with the owner of this establishment, Ryan Thompson again. My first question, Ryan, who is Ryan Thompson? Ryan Thompson is an esthetician owner of Naked Skin Care and Waxing, who's a professional um, with providing excellent customer service. Uh, treating all types of skin types um, and dealing with all types of personalities and making sure to service the community here in Houston. See, you, you see what's happening here? We, we, uh, we servicing the community. We dealing with all types of people. We making things happen over here. Um, before we get into the business, um, my, the next question I want to know is, when did you decide to start your own business? When did you decide to be an independent hustler? Um, <laughs> independent hustler. Okay, I like that. <laughs> well, I decided to start my own business um, about four years ago. Um, just stepping out on faith. You know, I worked at spas when I graduated aesthetic school for about two years. Um, and then I just wanted to take it to another level. You know, I just decided why not have all the money to myself. You know, I really like building relationships with my clients. Um, and you really can't do that sometimes at spas because, you know, if I'm off or things like that, they can go to another technician, which they can do the same thing when you're in your own establishment. However, um, I just wanted to take it to another level, you know, do things on my own, run things on my own, have it our way, the naked way. You see, you see what's happening right here? Do you see what's happening? We started out working for somebody else. We took that knowledge um, that, that we were gaining working for somebody else, and then we stepped out like, hey, you know what, I could, I could, I could operate this thing myself. And that's what's happening right here. You have an example of that. Um, I, I heard you say you're an esthetician. Esthetician. Est esthetician. Yes. For a, uh, for a dude like myself who doesn't know exactly what that is, explain that to me, Ryan. Well, an esthetician is a skincare therapist. Uh, we're a step under a dermatologist. I can't prescribe you medication. I deal with the top layer of the skin versus the dermatologist deal with the second layer, the dermis. So I deal with the epidermis. So, yeah. You see, <laughs> you see she knows, she, she didn't study what she needs to know. She do, she don't deal with the, with the deeper uh, part of your skin. We're dealing with the top part of your skin out here. Mm -hmm. That's what we, es, esthetician? Esthetician, which includes facials, chemical peels, reflexology, waxing, eyelashes, and things of that nature. Okay, okay, good deal, good deal. Quick question. I'm a dude, so I'm not, I don't know too much about all this. Mm -hmm. Can dudes take part in this also? Can oh. dudes get, the, get their naked skin care on? Oh, absolutely. Um, I have a variety of gentlemen clients who receive all type of services. Gentlemen facials, chemical peels, um, vajayshals, which is a facial for the vagina that's only offered here at Naked Skin Care and Waxing. But I do have several male clients who receive that service and also Brazilian waxing for men. So I have some clients that receive that service as well. See, this we, you see what's happening here? This is a one-stop shop. Whatever, wherever you got hair at, we making things happen over here. We, we removing it if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. If that's what you need. We, we naked skin care and waxing. We letting y'all know what's going on over here. Um, I heard you say that um, you deal with the top layer of the skin. So you know what you're talking about with this. Where did you go to educate yourself on this information? I went to Royal Beauty Careers here in Houston. Um, a magnificent program. I had an excellent teacher, uh, Miss Erica McKenzie. She not only taught us the book curriculum, but she went a step above and you know gave us everyday life and problems, things that you'll take and you need after school because it really is a um, case by case you know situation after school. You can always have what you learn from the book curriculum, but you deal with so many types of skin, so many people every day. Everything's different. You know, you just have to try to figure it out. See, we, we what was the lady's name? You say you learned from Mrs. Erica McKenzie. Miss, shout out Mrs. Erica McKenzie for for teaching us um, 
going going deep into the lesson, teaching us how to deal with the top layer. See, I'm so focused on the top layer of the skin. See, I thought I was doing some Ryan. I was at the house. Okay, I got me some uh, some ex ex exfoliating uh, cream. I rubbed that on my face. I thought I was doing something. Am I doing something with the exfoliating, or do I need to take it uh, a step further? Um, with it that? depends on how often you're exfoliating, and you know things like that. You don't need to exfoliate every day. You know, over exfoliating can be more hurtful than helpful. So it's just about knowing your skin. And again, at Naked Skin Care and Waxing, we're about prevention, lifestyle, and maintenance. You know, uh, kind of trying to educate our clients on what exactly you need to be doing, the type of products you need to be using. So exfoliating is good just not too much good deal you see you, she knows what she's talking about some of y'all out there exfoliating too much <laughs> i was exfoliating too much let's stop stop your exfoliating too much do it uh once what what, what are we doing once every day once every other day or it depends once every, on the skin type it depends on the <laughs> skin type so I, I tell you what you need to come sit down with ryan thompson we're gonna tell you what you need to do and depending on your skin type you're gonna exfoliate whenever she tell you you need to exfoliate because because some of us doing it too much i was doing it too much I just learned something. Now, I ain't going to exfoliate every day like I once was. But uh, my next question, why are facials, you're, you say uh, we deal with the facials, the waxing and all that. Mm -hmm. Why is that so important? Well, facials are important because um, it detoxifies, you know, things that's going on in the body, kind of like working out and things like that. It's an overall health experience. It's not only really stress and toxins, but it helps promote just good, clear skin. You know, it helps with acne, dry skin, oily skin, uh, hyperpigmentation, all sort of blemishes, you know. It's good for your health. See, it's good. See, it's good for your health. We uh, we detoxifying over here. We, um... What else did you say? We de we detoxifying. Exfoliating. We exfoliating. <laughs> we uh we we getting all the impurity. I heard something about some impurities. Mm -hmm. We getting we getting all that up out of us when we when we when we do the next skincare and waxing. Um, my last question. Um, this is like the most important question I like to ask. Within the next five years, where do you see naked skincare and waxing? Well, the next five years. Uh and doing really big things you know we're trying to build a team we're about team you know team membership here and team players so um taking it to the next level building the team again servicing the community not only the houstonians but in other major cities and areas just going naked making it aware that facials are important it's not just something for the elite it's not something that just you know to relax and you know have fun but it also like i said overall improves health and improves skin tone and skin type. So I see naked in the next five years just doing major things. You, you see what's happening? We doing within the next five years. We doing major things. You know, um, what I heard was uh, we building. We gonna build teams to take this thing to the next level. Uh, great customer service. This is all what I heard through the through the interview. Great customer service. We detoxifying, getting impurity. You getting them impurities about you, but um. This this was wonderful. Um, my favorite part of this interview was uh, the fact that you said you were working for somebody else, pretty much doing the same thing that you're doing now. But it hit you at one point. You you, you was looking around. And you was like, you know what? I I do this for them. I could do this for myself. I could take care of the lights. I could see all that bread coming to me. You know, I can independent hustle this thing. Independent hustler. Excuse me, the independent hustle. That's what this show is called, by the way. I can I can become an independent hustler and make this thing work. And I that, that's that's amazing. I gotta shake your hand. I gotta shout you out on that. Um, we on the twelve hundred. Let me get up in the camera. Which we naked we naked hustle. I mean, excuse me, skip naked hustle. Don't do that. We <laughs> naked skincare and waxing. This the brochure. We on the uh, twelve thousand block of West Timer. We making things happen. Ryan Thompson, I got to shake your hand one more time. Thank this is so an amazing thing you're doing. And uh, she's an example, man. Just take the first step to following your dreams. Like I say, um, a lot of people have this negative, this negative, excuse me, this negative stigma when it comes to black people. Like we just shoot people, mm -hmm. we loud, and we do all this other stuff. You know, that's 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 what you see on TV. We do we do more than that, man. We own we own our own businesses. We do our own things. We make things happen. We are independent hustlers, man. 
But that's all I wanted to leave you with. Um, like I say, you got an example here. Go after your dream. Take the first step. Is there anything you would like to plug, any websites or anything before we go? Oh, of course, absolutely. Uh, you can check out the website at www.nakedskinandwax.com. Um, and just to piggyback off what you said, all young people, even older, you know, it's never too late. Follow your dreams and always go naked or tell someone else to. Yeah, go go naked or tell somebody else to go naked, man. But we making things happen. We ain't going to hold y'all too much longer. We got Ryan Thompson, Brad Tuck Rob, uh, my government name, Christopher Robinson. Uh, this is the Independent Hustle. And like I said, Brad Tuck Gang TV, go after your dreams. Y'all mucho take it easy. H-Town all day.